Hello, what's going on, guys? Welcome to my channel. We're on here, and yeah, let me just continue playing Spider Man 2. So, uh, let's go. I mean, there's a uh, crime there, and there's a uh, um, I mean, Sandman fragment, memory fragment here. So, yeah, let me just go and collect this first. Yeah, I want a guy next time. Sheesh. See what this crystal has. Someone's watching us, Keith. But I don't want you to worry. That's my job. Someone was keeping tabs on Marco. And who's Kimia? Okay. Okay, I mean, let me go and. I mean, solve the crime first. Mm. I mean, it's near here, and I mean, it is uh, an awesome report. So, okay, new mission. What? They want to blow up a gas truck? Okay, y'all are done. Take your place with the unworthy. Oh shit. What the hell? Mr. Well, he right about him after all. I'm not joking at all. Okay, yeah, I lost. This <laughs> is fine, son of a bitch. Um, I mean it's okay. Uh and I saw Okay, rooftop fireworks. Um And yeah, I just now I I saw a I would say um a slingshot area so um, I mean around here somewhere. Oh well. I mean, seriously, I saw it somewhere. I mean, around here, but yeah, because I, yeah, I think I saw it. Yep. That's the icon, I think. Yep, this one. Okay, let's go. Holy shit. Nice. I mean, this is definitely a fast way to travel. Another string shot there. Oh. Marco's memory crystal. Let's get it. Yeah, let me just get this. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, 
this is not good. Come on. Yeah, it's hard this to. Crystal. Yeah, it's hard to like gain focus and then, yeah, I have to like upgrade the skill. So. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco was really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there. I mean, why the hell is the main mission? Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective other than their penchant for animal skins, but one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No. But that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors. I mean, seriously, I, I do enjoy his podcast, I mean. We really got to do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. <laughs> Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... 
miles. That Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude could turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. Okay. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Okay. Don't cheat it. Take your time. I mean, it is pretty, really hot. Done. Not bad, kid. What's the, the position process so you can get it? I mean, I'm already in the position, what about? Another game. Oh. Them. The F, I mean, sweet. Okay, can't pull it open from down here. Decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Okay, anything else? No. <laughs> Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Okay, you have received a rare tag. Use your resource resources to unlock new suits, gadget, and suit tech. Uh, you can boost your combat and traversal ability abilities by upgrading suit tech. Um, let help. Nice. Uh, I need to upgrade a focus. Uh, increase damage. Okay. Focus increase focus gain. Okay, nice. I mean there's a combo one, I mean inside here which I am trying to learn yep higher combo count increase focus gain listen this isn't the only stash Unk. whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley I wanted falling into the wrong hands you're the only person I trust with this okay I got you coordinates are in the mask thanks nephew don't be a stranger I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles, me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. 
Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Okay. Someone's playing with fireworks? Bad idea. Where? <laughs> Yeah, I want to use the wind tunnel, but I'm not sure where, where it will lead me to. Use, so. Those civilians need my help. Get you, Spider Man. Time to Even cut in. The last move I make. You all really never learn, huh? Spider Man, you came. God damn it. are pretty tough. I'm sure Feast could use some strong hands. Think about it. Whew. I didn't know you could move that fast, Spidey. Okay. Any, anything else? Miles? Club there, remember? Go on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Okay. Where do I need to go? City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. I wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Okay. Uh, oh, switch to Peter. Make it to the school fair club. Come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. Well, I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Hey, Miles. I mean, definitely, it is a lot of fun to like traverse the city. I mean, with the windsuit and all that. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Okay, the flame and lock. A 
That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees, or to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine, who may I ask is calling? Milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Okay. Oh, nice! I mean, are you sure I'm not destroying them? And just Hear that, carrying them. Wolves? You still get to pollinate another day too. Yes. I mean, this is probably virtual reality, right? Coming for you, bee wolf. I mean, this on the um, I mean, real real bees. What the hell is this? You're not gonna mess with my bees. I don't think I need this. Gotcha! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, 
you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Okay. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Okay, I mean, so doc they already know that Dr. Connors is the lizard, so... Um, Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. I mean, you are walking around with spider DNA inside you, so... What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. You know, when uh when when is Harry going to like show me the sim symbiote? Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Okay. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks! Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, I'm still... I still want to check out that, so... There's so much to explore! But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Man, is this the fucking asteroid? That... dropped down, I mean... with the symbiote inside it. I mean, Spider-Man 3 is, I mean, 
shows that, right? I mean, is this the same? I mean, for this game, I wonder. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. I mean, I think probably because in the animated series in the 90s, I mean, um, I mean the symbiote comes from a rock. I mean. A moon, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Like we were on track. I mean, if I remember correctly. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Okay. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Okay. Is that it? Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. I mean, probably Harry can cover his ass, right? I mean, he's the son of the boss. I mean, and and probably he could like work. I mean, during his free time or something, maybe I don't know. I mean, work something out. Wait, where do I need need to fucking go right now? Right here. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah. Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the uh -huh. base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um.
Let's see. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Hmm, okay. Okay, this is harder. <laughs> um... Step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. B listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Hmm. Okay, if I combine these traits... Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow! I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. What the hell is that song? I mean, I can't be hearing Go ahead. shit. Swipe. I really think we need more security. I mean, the, the really? control Pardon is me. like the vibrating and. And Oz Corp saved the game. open itself. Shit. Um, Mostly a name Maybe it's my imagination or some shit like that. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, 
We both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations that your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey? Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Okay. But don't I have this ammunition? I mean, this seems like a side mission and not the main mission. Uh. Okay, I mean, let me take this. I mean, I'm on the way, so. Not bad. You know, I saw an old Grand Master playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Dev. Never seen anything like it. Yeah, I mean, what the hell is this? Oh, it's, it's up there. Hope Dr. Foster doesn't... Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Uh, okay. There has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere.
This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. Can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Okay. Let's see. will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, I mean, this is pretty hot. Okay. Oh, I need, I need, I need two leaves and hedge. Okay. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. What? I need to do right now. Yeah. Probably need to pull on that valve. Yeah, I just gotta patch this up. Uh, Some webs should do the trick. Multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. You say it? May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? Wait, is that it? Yeah, I don't see another lake. But I do... But I do hear the sound. Oh, no. Ah, there. And I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Looks like one of Marco's memory crystals Miles told me about. I should check it out. I mean, there are definitely a lot of shit to do here. Hey, what's up? Then the sandcastle competition starts now! And no cheating! You just had to make it hard, huh? Crack a crystal.
So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Marco was really laying low these past few years. Would have helped him if I'd known he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the rack. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Hey, no problem. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Uh, littering? Come on, man. Crazy strong. What the hell is the enemy? Yeah, I beat them all. What the, what the hell are you talking about? Should take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. You could daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa. Real gun. Is that a real gun? That actually works? Get away! What the hell? 
Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. Now, nice. where is your boss? There is such for more information. Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Oh, come on, Birdie! Let go! Come on! Stop buy a ticket for this ride! Send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Very nice. Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. Heard something. That's one. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. 